Um, an issue was raised today in the Senate about um, the Uyghurs, and you'll recall that they came to Bermuda four individuals a number of years ago, uh, essentially under the cover of darkness, without the knowledge of the British government, and without the knowledge of most Bermudians. Um, we are now in a position where the um, the only way in which the Uyghurs will have some satisfaction that they will be able to leave Bermuda is essentially to become British overseas territory citizens. And that is in the hands of the British government through the British Nationality Act. Uh, it is not an issue that we are able to, uh, uh, to fix in Bermuda. So that's obviously quite an important point that we have these individuals here. They, from what I can tell, have been accepted into mainstream Bermuda society. But in order for them to leave, they need travel documents, which we have no authority to issue unless someone is naturalized. Naturalization means being naturalized by the British government under the British Nationality Act through the governor. Um, one of the other issues I had touched on this afternoon or this morning is to bring to the attention of the public our public forum this evening at the Cathedral Hall at six o'clock to discuss uh, the government proposals on pathway to status. And I raised something which I think is very important. We hear all the time um, the opposition saying, well, the minister's not out for Bermuda, he's anti-Bermudian. And th th I was very passionate about it because it, I couldn't believe that, it, it shocks me that people even bother to say that. Um, we're all Bermudians. We have Bermudian children. We want to see our children successful within our own country. But what we're looking to do is find ways that we can secure the, f the, the future of our children by making sure we have a population base here that is sustainable, that can pay into our taxes system, that can make sure that our seniors are secure, make sure that our education system is secure. And one of the ways that we can do that is to give residency and status rights to people who've been here for a very long period of time. Some have said, well, that takes opportunity away from Bermudians. I don't see that in any way. If someone has been here for 20 years and ends up becoming a status holder, they've been here for 20 years because they're needed in this economic uh, community in which we live, in the economic climate that we find ourselves in. Um, so it would be um, a sensible thing to do, to give them the opportunity to remain and continue to contribute to our economy. Yeah. Uh, the meeting tonight is at uh, the Cathedral Hall at 6 p.m. And we will give pr a presentation with data points, uh, a PowerPoint uh, presentation. There'll be an opportunity for questions. But what I'm, I'm urging the community to do is come with an open mind as to really analyzing why this really should be done rather than relying on rhetoric uh, that has been amped up in many sectors of this community that in my view represents a very significant minority of individuals who um, are not either wanting to listen or perhaps just need to get the facts and the data and we are preparing to do that this evening and put some humanity to this through sharing with the community testimonials of some of the people that would be affected by such a change. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's outside of my, um, my knowledge. Um, Again, this is up to the governor, uh, by way of the British Nationality Act, to determine um, whether someone is suitable to be naturalized under the regulations contained therein. Um, I had, um, some time ago, had discussions with both uh, the governor um, and had reached out to U.S. authorities in terms of the plight of these individuals. Um, but again, um, that is it, it's circumstances that really are beyond our control and need to be um, really assisted by the British authorities in terms of these individuals' plight.